Hello to all of you beautiful people inside of my phone and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be explaining why practice leads to progress as I show you a time lapse video of this Cad Bane artwork from Star Wars and Clone Wars. Check it out. So when one is in the process of art making, or really just trying to improve in one's abilities no matter what the skill really is, it can apply to anything, cooking, exercising, etc. I believe that practice contributes to or actually creates progress and let me say that again it's very important to remember practice creates progress and i'm sure i'll say it many more times in this video but what that means is that the time which one devotes to their passion will continually lead to improvement and the gradual steps towards what they aspire to be and this is an eventual hope for success it's not guaranteed and it's a long-term effort. None of this is short-term. You can't get the short-term hacks on YouTube and expect to be the best artist in a week. It just doesn't work that way, believe me. And if that's what you're trying to do, it's just not gonna work. And it also doesn't mean that it will necessarily lead to perfection or you being the greatest there is. And I want to clarify that notion in this video as well. You see, your classical perfectionist believes that by doing their best to remain flawless, or to have as few flaws as possible, they will be fulfilled by the work they do, since it is inherently without any flaws. It's perfect. This is the type of individual who works extreme amounts of time to ensure that every detail is refined in an orderly fashion, they always have plans for their backup plans, and they feel diminished when their expectations aren't equivalent to reality. They're devastated when it just doesn't hold up to what they had envisioned it to be all along. And if you are one of these individuals, or if you know someone with this quality, you'll notice that it is very difficult for perfectionists to consider any alternatives. They want to do things their way, they're very bullheaded, and if you tell them otherwise, they get very upset because it's not their idealistic way of viewing things. And believe me, I don't think less of this type of individual at all for these qualities, as I personally was also a perfectionist for a very long period of time, and I still hold many of these same characteristics. But one day I realized that if I expected my work to be perfect, I would be disappointed in myself every single time I created anything. I learned that by being quote unquote perfect and trying to be the best there was, ironically, I was actually losing. We often are our own worst enemies. I wasn't improving as quickly as I felt that I should, and I was growing more frustrated by my work, which diminished my focus, and most importantly, my passion for creating art. I didn't draw or paint as often because I knew that my expectations for my work would never meet my level of output. In other words, I'd feel bad about my art every time I created anything new because I wasn't capable of noticing the good qualities of it, and I only saw my imperfections, which, believe me, a lot of artists face on a daily basis. I obviously did for some period of time. Artists are the types of people to look at something they do and not appreciate it as much as some onlooker from the side who loves it. But artists need to get used to the fact that their opinion of it doesn't really matter as much if that person who's paying for it loves it absolutely wholeheartedly but art really at that time also just didn't make me happy like it used to and for some time I really didn't do much fine art related at all of course I had other excuses as well mainly a lack of time and the need to focus more on schoolwork having a social life in college etc but I wasn't letting my practice lead to progress. I wasn't allowing myself the opportunity to fail because I was too worried about being perfect and I couldn't learn without making any mistakes. I find it ironic that my fear of not progressing and wasting my time was actually leading to me wasting time overall if you look at it that way. 
If you want to hear more about my thoughts on leaning into failure in order to grow, please check out my latest art related video where I critique some of my old artwork, especially if you like this Cad Bane artwork from Star Wars The Clone Wars. You'll definitely like that video because I show a lot of my old Star Wars art that I used to create when I was a lot younger. So you might like that video. Make fun of myself a lot. Check it out. Anyways, I digress. I can't attribute any of my successes as an artist to some raw talent, which more people actually think is the case than not, and it's kind of scary. People think that you're just born innately good at art and that experience, you know, is only controlled by the amount of talent you have, and that's not true whatsoever, unless you're Rembrandt, Van Gogh, one of the great artists. Instead, I believe that it is important to recognize that if I do something well, it is because of my learned skills through practice. It's built up over time. Putting pencil to paper is how I've grown and improved over the years. One of the reasons that I'm discussing this now is because halfway through finishing this artwork of Cad Bane, I was not pleased with this piece and I wanted to start over. I considered cutting my losses and just starting over in order to save time. I, for one, didn't like the anatomy because it didn't exactly match the reference photo, even though it is, you know, from an animated series. Luckily, I didn't give up on it because I am satisfied enough with how it looks when I finished. And I don't think it's perfect by any means, but I don't really believe that perfection truly exists. We are all human after all, and it isn't worth my energy to believe that I could create something flawless. I'd be doing it for years, I'd be working on this same artwork for 10 years trying to get it to quote unquote perfection. Sure, one can strive to be the best at what they do, but even that will usually disappoint you more often than not. I've lowered my expectations to the point where I am pleased by looking at a final artwork and knowing that it is better than whatever I worked on last. Noticing and understanding that I am improving is what makes me happy and fulfilled. Improving and knowing that every time I put my pencil to the paper, I'm gaining experience as an artist and I'm progressing in my skills. And it's a lot like leveling up your character in a video game. Some of you might understand this and some of you might just have this comparison fly over your head. And that's okay, just stick with me for a second. So in a video game, you usually continually complete these quests, which you'll gain XP from, or what's called experience points, and that allows your character to level up and unlock more abilities than you had before. In life, there aren't any magical hacks that will lead to your progress. Kind of like a video game often has embedded in the code, or that you can find in those old cheat books. I remember those, those were the days. Anyways, instead it takes grinding out those hard fought smaller victories in order to see your overall improvement at your craft. When you pursue a skill like art, there is an invisible contract that you're making with yourself and your work. It's just like the terms and conditions statements that few of us actually read after downloading a new app or using someone's service, usually online. This mutual agreement is the understanding that your passion is long term and that your interest for it should rest in the love of its pursuit, not in the short term gain of money or any other form of short term compensation for your effort. But if your devotion to your skill is whole and you make sacrifices for it, including time, energy, or other resources, you will eventually be successful with it because you have organically allowed your practice to lead to your progress. And this does lead to long-term fulfillment and short-term happiness because you understand and accept that you must be patient and that this progress does not happen all at once or early on. You're more inspired to be creative because you know that mistakes are necessary to attaining that growth. You aren't fearful of a new project. You'll be saving time because you won't be stuck on the same thing for hours and hours trying to make it perfect when you could have already moved on to something new and learned even more. Like I said in one of my previous videos, 
once you complete a project, it's so important to reflect back on it, taking in what you did well and what you didn't do well, because that is how you learn from your mistakes. And you'll never fail. That's not failing. That's just improving. But the most important part of it is that you'll be happy. You won't be bringing yourself down and hating on your own work all the time. You'll be more willing to share it with friends and family or online and actually grow that following that you've always wanted to have because you're not judging yourself. Maybe you're not an artist, maybe you want to get that perfect beach bod, or you want to become a professional cook. Whatever it is, it just takes time. You can do this, you just need to start and stop making excuses because it is a long-term effort over time of practice that creates progress. So thank you everyone for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more art content like this. Also, my question to all of you is what is holding you back from doing your art? Please let me know and I will respond to your comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and take care my friends. Roll the outro! Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you did enjoy this piece of content, please do consider giving me a like and subscribing to the channel for more content like this. Here are some other video recommendations that you should check out. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram for more content from me. Thank you so much for the support and have a great rest of your day.